Thanks to the comments on the last video, we have a brand new temporary member to the man family. Say hello to Pisis Christ. She managed to survive during the last episode solely by eating uncooked peas and somehow walking on water, and thus the name is very fitting. I know Pisis is over here on her cell phone. She's looking up like how to survive a Grace Still Plays Sims challenge, and she's like, it's not coming back with any results. I like how we started two hours ago, like time-wise, and Pisis already has grunge build up. So it hasn't been that long. Um, Colino is not in first place anymore, and pretty much everyone has yearned all over themselves. This place looks like a friggin' minefield of pools. Okay, it's Wednesday. Uh, I have no clue how, but Pisis is now in the lead. I think our big benefit is that all the other Sims for some reason always want to use the bathroom, but she never does. So while they're wasting time urinating, she just goes on herself and continues to be in first place. And now because of that, there's gonna be a lot of water for them to contend with. Pisis is still in first place and is leaving breadcrumbs of pools behind for everyone to eventually drown in. Up, oh, there's another one right now. Way to go, Pisis. Also, Pisis has now surpassed Bab Ross. So, <sighs> Pisis is now in the lead. She spontaneously fell into the last level, and if you notice at this point, she is drunkenly walking through the walls. Okay, so at this point, the final contestants are like 11 year old Florida man, Colino, and Pisis Christ. So at this point, it's now the final lap to see who will be the winner. All right, Florida Man was going to be in second place until he decided he didn't give a shit anymore. Oh, now you do want to walk again. Okay, good. Colino's in second and Pisces is in first. Okay, it's Friday at 3.45. It's actually a question now of whether or not she can make it to the end before she starves to death. She has 14 hours. Come on, Pisces, you can do this. You better run your ass off. You get 10 hours to live. I love that they're all doing the urination shuffle. I, I don't know what happened here. She was gonna starve to death, and suddenly she's fine now. If Florida Man's spirit ends up winning this, does, like, does that count? I don't think he's going to, though. She's so close to the end. And we have a winner! It's Pieces! <laughs> I love that the last three contestants were Pieces, Colino, and the ghost of Florida Man. And as Pieces lights up the infernos of hell below, she thinks to herself, I didn't think this many glitches could happen in the damn game. From Florida Man playing whack-a-mole and teleporting into each and every pool, to Pieces falling through an entire floor and coming out on top, we've, we've, we've done it. Jesus Christ, you seem worried. You should be. Say hello to Juvenile Florida Man and Juvenile Colino. God, it's right out of the 80s. He even has like a shark tooth necklace. Also, this is what Pisis Christ looks like as a child. I love how all the people are just teleporting over here in order to share their condolences. They don't even walk over. They just phase into existence. Florida Man's over here. He's like, he was such a good guy. And Pisis Christ goes down next. Okay, the gigantic first mess of deaths is finally over and it looks like we have uh, what like maybe 25 people left Florida man is still in there LSD Bab Ross Colino Pisis an Australian man sadly did not make it Spleens and tonsils are still fine though. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all with blue cheese over here Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sims 4 until next time stay foxy much love